would like to start with the reason that we are here today at all. I know that Thorsten, he doesn't like that I talk about him, but I will actually take this opportunity to do that. Uh, Thorsten, you are such a role model and inspiration for all of us. And I would like to thank you from the bottom of my heart of everything you have done for the Young Academy and for me. Ever since the Young Academy started five years ago, actually in this house, maybe on the minute, may, almost on the minute, you have been our mentor, our godfather, our supporter, and actively engaged yourself in our organization, in our activities, and in our members. When I was assigned to start the Young Academy, I immediately thought of you as the perfect match, since you have always been a spokesperson for young researchers and the need of interdisciplinarity. And with your broad international experience, I thought you would be the super inspiration for the most brilliant young researchers in Sweden. And I was definitely right. During the years you have visited our academy meetings, as you see here, you have interacted with our members, you have participated in seminars, and you have worked and given me a lot of good advice and tons of support. I can't thank you enough for that, Tosten. Uh, last summer you were also like uber duber cool when you were signing the Mainau Declaration on Climate Change together with 35 other Nobel laureates and you were wearing the Young Academy of Sweden t-shirt. <laughs> you are just so cool. And it's hard to think about someone else who have done so much in his life to promote science as you, Tosten. And it ranged from doing world-class research to leading great research institutions to interact with world leaders, like even Nelson Mandela, and working for human rights, and now constantly active, uh, right now trying to build up the University of the People. And you are so amazing, and your energy seems to be never-ending. The world needs you, Tosten. So, the Torsten Wiesel Midnight Sun Award for the Distinguished Achievement in Promoting Science was a gift to you when you celebrated your 19-year birthday from all of us. It was made possible by generous donations from a lot of people who wanted to join us in the celebration, and you will find the name of the donors in the back of the program. And guess if I was happy when I convinced Nasdaq to join us in the celebration and to celebrate Torsten on Times Square on his birthday, and it was really a great moment being there with you. I think you should be on that screen every day. So, back to the award. What is the award? So, the Midnight Sun Award, it goes to a person or an organization who has done extraordinary work to explain or to promote science to the public and or to decision makers and can be of any nationality. The name, the Midnight Sun Award, we took uh, and created together with Torsten and his wife, Mususa Wiesel, and it takes inspiration from the Order of the Rising Sun that Torsten was awarded in 2009 and is also related to the Scandinavian natural phenomenon of the Midnight Sun. The award, it consists of a seminar being held in Stockholm, and you will not get the award if you don't come here. And it's the seminar that we are having right now. And it also consists of an artwork by Muka, which is the artist's name of Mosusa Wiesel, who has very kindly donated this image to us, especially for this award. The image is printed by a special blueprint method, and the picture is taken on the bridge on the, by the house of Tosten's uh, parents' summer house in the Swedish archipelago at 3 a.m. in the morning during the midnight sun. And Mo is here, and I want to thank you so much for donating this wonderful piece of art. Thank you, Mo. <laughs> so, the Young Academy of Sweden is an independent, inter uh, interdisciplinary forum for the for a selection of the most talented young researchers within all scientific fields. And it was established in 2011, right here at the Royal Swedish Academy, which took the initiative. One of our main goals is to lift science and research broadly, both to decision makers and also to school kids, to show that uh, research, education and science matters and that also show that science is a lot of fun. 
Uh, young academies or similar bodies exist now in more than 40 countries. And the awardees today are a result of a worldwide nomination pro process made by all young academies in the world. And it's actually the first collaboration like that between all young academies in the world. And we have also the, if the initiator who had the original idea of the Young Academy in Sweden here today, Gunnar Ökvist, who is sitting right It's Really happy to have you here. <laughs> So this uh, process of nomination we took place during spring 2015. And then we had a jury consisting of members of the Young Academy and myself that we worked on between June and September, uh, where we uh, decided and finally agreed on the winners. Uh, then the Young Academy of Sweden took the final decision on an academy meeting in September. And then uh, we were happy to contact the winners in the beginning of October with an announcement from Stockholm. <laughs> I'm not saying anything else. Um, um, and then, finally, now we are here today um, to have the, the award ceremony and the seminar. And we think that this award fits very well with our ambitions of bringing science to as many people as possible. So, what are we waiting for? The award ceremony. So, I would now like to welcome up David Salzberg, Torsten Wiesel, and Christian Broberg are on stage. So, Christian Broberg is a neuroscientist from the Karolinska Institute. He has served as the president for the Young Academy 2012 to 2013, and he was also a member of the prize jury. And uh, Christian will now read the prize citation of the jury. Thank you. Thank you, Anna. Um, it's a pleasure to do this. So, the Young Academy of Sweden is proud to award the 2016 Torsten Wiesel Midnight Sun Award for Distinguished Achievement in Promoting Science to Chuck Lohr, Bill Prady, Simularo, and David Salzberg. Chuck Lohr and Bill Prady are the creators of the acclaimed television comedy series The Big Bang Theory revolves around a group of scientists and friends living in Pasadena, California. The Big Bang Theory premiered in 2007 and has since become one of the most popular comedy shows on television worldwide. Steve Malaro, a contributor to 2009, has played a vital role in the success of the show as a writer and executive producer. While the characters are, as is usual in this format, in many ways caricatures, the science is not. Science is treated with a care and respect that is unusual in popular culture depictions of laboratories and the work that goes on there. In comedic format, the Big Bang Theory regularly discusses important topics such as the difference and sometimes conflict between faith and science. The characters' conversations about research are impressively accurate and topical with recent breakthroughs quickly making it into the script. To accomplish this, the writers consult regularly with accomplished scientists. Of singular importance in this regard is Dr. David Salzberg, who serves as scientific advisor to the show. Dr. Salzberg, an accomplished physicist, is responsible for fact-checking and filling the series' iconic whiteboard. <laughs> the show's commitment to science is further manifested in the recent establishment of the Big Bang Theory Scholarship Program at the University of California, Los Angeles. Together, Lore, Prady, Malaro, and Salzberg have brought the world of science to the television sitcom format with spectacular impact. Through their humorous yet respectful handling of the subject matter, they have made science itself a star member of the cast. In so doing, they have exposed a whole new audience to the topic and helped spur a public conversation about research across the world. So, I would... I would like to ask David Salzberg to step forward and receive the Thorsten Wiesel Minna Sun Award on behalf of all the awardees from Thorsten Wiesel himself. Uh, <laughs> 